Okay. Uh, thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. So I started this video. I don't know what happened. I had to start it over. So I'm going to do my best to recap the downloads that I received and go ahead and try my best. Lord have mercy. Okay. So <sighs> thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot. You have someone that's paying a knight of swords to come towards you to cause you some type of harm or they are paying someone behind the scenes, right? To interfere with you receiving some type of financial payout, some type of abundance, some type of blessings, right? And you were either left by someone that passed away or you were left by someone that's of high honor. Um, there could be someone that wants to give to you. Someone sees you as wish fulfillment, but they don't, there's someone in their life or there's someone in this situation that does not want you to receive this financial abundance. So they're paying someone to go in quickly and, and, and do something to block you from receiving it. This could also have to do with you waiting for some type of check to come in your life. You waiting for some type of bonus check. Let's say, for example, you have a platform, you're supposed to get paid. Someone is paying another individual, another energy behind the scenes to interfere with you receiving your financial payout. This is something that is orchestrated by a group of people. There's something that has to do with two people coming together. And there's something that has to do with you receiving some type of financial payout, you having some type of new beginning that is going to enable you to be very stabilized in life and be able to focus on your path. But they don't want that happening. There's a, there's a mentally, there's a woman out here that's mentally unstable. And I'm not saying that to be funny. Like someone is mentally unstable. Okay. Like it could be something that's medical, um, but she has managed to get a group of people that are like-minded as herself, very karmic, very toxic to agree with her when it comes to what defaming someone, slandering someone, filing false police reports on people and things like that. Because she's in some type of one-sided competition with you. You may not even know this woman. That's the sad part. Someone has hired like her best friend to watch you, stalk you. There's something about a woman that drives like a red SUV or something like that. They're very desperate to hide something in the court system. They have an inside connection in the court system that is helping them keep something going. So if you're supposed to receive some type of financial payout, that's going to make a difference in your life, make a change in your life. There's, a, there's either a judge or a lawyer that they have paid to stop you, to keep you waiting. It said, as long as possible, keep them waiting. We're going to find evidence that's going to show that they don't deserve to have this. This was a mistake. He didn't mean to put her in the will. This was not intended for them. Something like that, right? But the truth has come out. Something has backfired on these people horribly. I don't know if they were trying to hide you, shut you up, but something has backfired. There was some type of investigation going on because these people kept filing a lot of false police report on someone to make sure that something goes in their way so that you could you could either end up locked up end up losing the home end up losing something there's something where a group of people were even trying to have you and your children separated if you are someone that has a child or children they were trying to have your kids and yourself separated so that your kids could end up you know losing the uh their parent and things like that it just so happened there's someone that's going through this behind the scenes. They're in some type of court proceedings that has to do with CPS. So you see how the universe works, right? What you intend for someone else happens to you. There's someone in here. This is a woman that is mentally unstable. It could be medical. Like, I, I kid you not. I'm not even, like, I'm not joking. There's a woman that is medically, like, you know, she's, someone is sick-minded. Someone is unstable. And then you top of that with the fact that she could be a sociopath, psychopath, narcissist combined. Someone is unhinged, very stubborn. There's a masculine in here too that's very stubborn. This could be the person that she ended up with or something. They ended up together. They both need some type of help. His his problem comes from his childhood. Like maybe he comes from like a karmic background where things were really toxic in his life and her, she's, there's something mental with this woman. I just can't even verbalize it to emphasize how mentally unstable a woman is behind the scenes. And it's out here trying to pretend to be someone else, trying to fool the court system that she's you. There's, there's something really unhinged about a feminine energy out here. These people are paying someone to interfere with your abundance, your life, your business. 
something that you've been working very hard on that you are supposed to be receiving your fruits from they are paying someone to cause an interference with that okay they don't want you having some type of wish fulfillment they don't want you being content in life they want you barely making it you could be a king of cups or this is a king of cups that's working with these people behind the scenes as well but it's a whole lot that's going on that a lot of you may not be aware of these are people that are very karmic i'm telling you very karmic very reckless maybe arguing with a king of pentacles that's choosing to do the right thing maybe someone is trying to balance his life to put an end to this chapter of like argument toxicity someone is going through some type of healing he may want to apologize to you because he may have participated in something that had to do with these people trying to destroy you and he's afraid to come to worship because he knows that you may end up rejecting him you are a whole empress energy out here that he wants to communicate with so i don't know how this is going to turn out but he does want to communicate with you maybe he has some type of work opportunity he wants to present you there's a queen of wands behind the scenes that is absolutely absolutely unhinged this is the woman that thinks that she's better than everybody else this is the woman that think that thinks she's the most beautiful woman in the world but someone is mentally unhinged there's a king of cups as you can see is causing a lot of illusions behind the scenes because something is not going according to plan okay they've been trying to interfere with justice with balance being brought into this situation but this is coming to an end all of this period of like and stagnation causing interference with the emperor being able to move forward and balance something out come in with a, a commitment to someone it's all over right the fact that you are strong because this strength card comes out a lot there's something about your strength and your ability to keep moving forward is keeping these people stuck in some type of karmic cycle that they cannot find their way out of. Someone in this scenario will be going to jail. A few people may be going to jail. Someone may be going to the penitentiary because they try to steal some type of abundance from a masculine. It's like someone trying to transfer money out of an account that they should not be even tampering with. It's like, trying to, it's like someone trying to clear out someone's bank account and transfer it transfer everything into their account there may be something about overseas account where people are transferring money to into different names or these these accounts are under different names or something of that nature but there's a lot of conflict and confusion going on behind the scenes um but whatever this is just a conflict going on amongst these people because they're trying to figure out their way out of this nonsense that they've created for themselves. But there was some type of internal investigation going on behind the scenes that they were not aware of that's exposing a lot of truth. So it's like these people going out of their way to file a lot of false police reports on you. Someone may have even hired a kink of source in the police, the police department, whatever they call it, um, that they were sleeping with. And this would be a woman like a queen of wands that either a man was with, she was sleeping with this king of swords in the police force, police department, uh, and, and paid him or, you know, I mean, they, they sleep together. So she coerced him to making something look like what it was. And so basically to set up another feminine energy or to set up a masculine, to make it seem like they did something they didn't do because she needed you out of the way so that she could further her agenda in getting a masculine to commit to her, marry her. I don't know if he married her already or whatever this is, he may have committed to her, but she needed you or whoever this is out of the way so that he could not see the truth he could not balance something out because this could be someone that's very wealthy and they were benefiting off of this man's money and he didn't know the whole time the problem was the person he was with i don't know if they had a child together because i've been seeing the page of cups showing up a lot so they may have and in the, the page of wands so they may have had a child together or there's something going on about a child where is that she got pregnant by a different person and this was an attempt to bind this man to her for a lifetime so it's that you know I, i'm already aware that this relationship is not going to last um for the long run because i like to have options i like to be out here doing my thing but still pretending to be in the upright um so if i can have a baby with him this will trap him with me and i'll have access to his wealth so obviously if they separate then she will go and file for child support and then he's paying that money to her 
Uh, of course, you know, a lot of the times they're probably not even using that money for the child. They're using it for themselves and things like that. Um, when it comes to a lot of the women that don't want to work, I'm not talking about the everyday nine to five single mother or the independent mother that's working out here to make sure their kids are taken care of. Those ones are obviously going to use the money on their kids. But there are specific women out here. And the one that I picked up on. This is the type of woman that is just waiting for that child support check to come in so that she can go and get her hair done, buy her clothes to, you know, to, to, uh, uh pass out on other people so they can see how good she look, how much money she's making the whole time she's depending on someone else's money. So there's something where it says she wanted to attach herself to this wealthy man so that she could have access to his money. And of course, it would have been for like 18 years. But what I've been getting through my readings and downloads is that this child may belong to a kink of source, like a police officer, FBI, someone in the legal system, in the justice system. This child may not belong to the man that's wealthy, the man that's in a commitment with her. Uh, and this is also a woman that's been out here pretending to be someone in the upright. It's like, I don't know, she found out that a man may be interested in you, like the wealthy man may be interested in you. And I don't know why I'm calling him a wealthy man because he probably more than likely is. And this is why she got with him. But someone of high honor or uh, just let's say a king of pentacles, because this is what I'm being given, like a king of pentacles there's something about him being wealthy. This is why they got with this man. It was never about love. This woman is, this is not someone capable of loving anyone. And I don't know how it is that he didn't see this. Maybe she was groomed to present herself, herself as someone's lo someone that is loving, excuse me. But really all it's been is something, it's like a tactic to hold on to him, keep him trapped. And he's been trapped in this relationship for a while, feeling way down, but someone has found their strength to move on with their life. Maybe coming towards a queen of swords, right? And maybe he's in his king of swords energy, okay? But he's trying to balance things in his life. I don't know if this is something that's going to be happen, uh, happening soon. This may be something that happens in the future, but there's some type of court proceedings going on, whether this is uh, with like a divorce, child, uh, 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 family welfare or something like that but there is some type of court case going on that is exposing all of the truth something has backfired horribly this is why these people are paying someone behind the scenes to interfere with your abundance they don't want you being successful and being seen let's say you have a social media platform like myself they want you hidden because if you're not hidden then the truth is going to come out you could be someone that speaks the truth you could be a practitioner like myself right so their new plan is to come and meet with you, right? Because they're burdens behind the scenes, right? Because this man, what, is balancing things out in his life and will be choosing to move on because what? He knows the truth now. Someone is having some type of epiphany about a betrayal or a setup, something about a family that's been doing a whole lot to set someone up. Uh, they may have been trying to hire someone to assault you, like basically take you out of here. So they have gone through the extent of finding out where you live because this woman has an inside connection in the justice department. They found out where you live. They don't want to hire a hitman to come to your home and take you out. There's some type of barrier because your ancestors are watching you. This person is going to have to move on the who this king of pentacles, whoever this is does want to balance things out, but it's going to be after this court proceeding has been uh, taken care of, you may have someone of uh, some official coming towards you to bring something to your attention because there's going to be some type of lawsuit when it comes to you and these people because they've done things that you're not aware of if, as far as defamation, fraud, uh, uh, uh impersonating you because whoever this feminine energy is, this queen of wands is, I've been picking up on. There's some type of impersonation she's been doing, pretending to be you. Um, the whole time you have been being protected by your ancestors and the universe because, honey, you have a higher calling on your life and it has nothing to do with these people taking you out or controlling you or being the one to decide who it is you are, telling people that you're one thing when you're not. I'm telling you, this group, they're not able to defeat you, okay? They're not able to defeat you. They're defeated. 
It's like they've been very determined. I'm telling you, something has backfired with these people. This is a bunch of narcissists that got together, and maybe they used to go to this man's house because I saw something about like a big house or something. People used to go to to have parties, hang out, and all kinds of stuff. And when they found out maybe they couldn't keep that house or they couldn't hang out anymore, he was going through a divorce or separating himself from this unhinged creature, he, they decided that they were going to go in and vandalize his house. I had, uh, I had a vision a while back of something. Someone trying to burn down a house or a building. I think this has to do with it. Um, it's like they had a plot. You know what? He don't want to hang out with us anymore. He wants to go be with that Empress energy. Whatever this is, we're going to burn this house down. But something backfired. I don't know if this masculine is waking up or he's doing some type of investigation on his own term. May have hired a private P a PI or something. Private PI is the same thing. He may have hired a private investigator and they were looking into things. So all of the false reports that they have been making on you, all the lies they have been telling on you, everything has been override because whoever has been doing the investigation has found out the truth which has led to some type of defeat um on this friend group this community this family this is a family that has been orchestrating all of this nonsense behind the scenes all right um they've been paying people especially the queen of wands that he was with this woman has some type of vendetta against you like someone despises you because when you see her you remind her of what she is not so this is like you have the photocopy and the genuine one, right? The photocopy has been out here pretending to be in the upright, pretending to be modest. This could be like even like a, there's something about a Muslim woman. Like I had a dream about a Muslim woman that didn't give two Fs about a man that she was with, but because he had money, she didn't mind pretending to be with him or pre whatever this is okay so there's something like that going on you got the photocopy and you have to real the authentic the photocopy is not able to keep up with the authentic right so i also see something where like a feminine energy a family is going to the extent of trying to study someone else's personality how they do things the only thing is that when you are someone authentic, you are unpredictable. Like you live in your truth so people cannot really copy your personality. And they've been having a hard time doing that. So it's like they're trying to figure out what you would do in specific situations. Say, oh, well, if this empress was in this situation, this is what she would do. So this is what I'm going to start doing now. But that's not how it works. And we all know that when you are someone who's a light worker, you don't do things the same way every time when it comes to a situation because you pick up on people's energies. So you're going to handle each, each situation differently, right? But it, I picked up on something where it's like a family has been trying to figure out your personality and how you will handle certain situations and things like that but it's not working because you're authentic you are original you are unpredictable so this is not something they can do okay they may have even gone to the extent of trying to get your families to turn on you like it's been a whole operation behind the scenes and there are people in the court system that are involved in this they will be exposed right it's going to take one, uh, it's going to take someone in the upright in the court system to undo what the corrupt person in the court system uh, has done. And this is exactly how it's going to pay out. There's a crooked either judge or lawyer that was paid to pretend like they didn't see something, pretend like they didn't know something was going on. So now something has happened to them. I don't know if they ended up in an accident, got sick, whatever this is, some type of truth came out about them. But there is going to be a, 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 a court official of high honor that's going to be overriding or overseeing some type of case that he's going to be balancing it out. Baby, it's too much going on. It's too much going on. Okay. It is too much going on. They were trying to manifest some type of ending for you. Like some type, it's like, you know, you're minding your business. You don't know there's a whole group, a whole female out here in competition with you to block your forward movement because they want people to see them as you. It says, she's not the real empress. I'm the real empress. And as for us that are in the light work like working community, we the light workers, we already know the moment someone fix their mouth to let those words come out, we already know they ain't the real deal because a, an empress never has to announce that they are an empress. A queen never has to announce that they are a queen. You will know that they are a queen by the way they carry this, their, themselves, by the way they speak, by the way they treat people, 
all of that plays a role in it. You will get a few of their energy and know instantaneously that they are who you think them to be, or you, they are a, a, a empress or a queen, right? The only time you don't get that is when you are not awakening yet. You're still living in the dark. You're still living in denial and things like that. Or someone comes and pays, pays you to pretend like you don't know that's an empress. You don't know that's a high priestess. You don't know that's a queen or whatever this is. Um, but there's something they were trying to manifest in your life. They were trying to pay someone to come in and defeat you. It didn't go according to plan. So they're not able to manifest this defeat. They're not able to stop you from moving forward. They're not able to stop your finances and resources. And this does not have anything to do with what you are capable of doing. You are co-creating with the universe. So the fact that you are still uh, doing your part to keep moving forward and doing your job, right? As far as moving forward, continuing to invest in yourself, learning and things like that. This is what has defeated these people, Okay. They're going through a lot of heartbreaks and turmoils behind the scenes. It's a lot of arguing and crying. There's a feminine energy. Whoever this masculine was with, she knows that she's going to be left behind. She's not about to be living a privileged life. She, her parents behind the scenes may be worried now because what well, their daughter is not about to be privileged anymore. And this is why you got to humble thyself when the universe blesses you with someone that's willing to work with you. Look out for you, especially someone of high honor that will give you whatever it is you want. I don't know. Like I'm picking up on these people's energy. This is a man that more than likely gave this woman whatever it is she wanted because he possibly really liked her and really cared about her. But this woman is void of human emotions. This is someone that don't mind using her body to get what it is that she wants. This is someone that does not mind pretending to be wholesome so that they can shut you up so that you can stop talking about them being out here reckless if you for one second get the inkling and you make mention of oh were you with this person she's going to start pretending to be wholesome so that you can let it go and she can keep living this good life with you but there's some type of distress that's going on behind the scenes um because they know this person is about to communicate with you and them communicating with you is going to lead to a tower because someone does want to work with you want to commit to you whatever this is it's a whole family honey a whole family group of friends are going through endings. This is how it's always been destined to be. There's no other way it was going to happen. They've been trying to block two people from meeting. I'm telling you, they've been trying to block two people from meeting. And instead of them blocking you, the universe said, you know what, we're just going to use this time for growth for you know improvement we're just gonna let these two go through their spiritual awakening so that when it's time for them to meet all these hollow balloons all this all this nonsense that's going on it won't be a problem anymore so you two will meet in divine timing and this has what these people burden behind the scenes because once you two meet once you two meet, guess what? Things are going to be balanced out and it's going to cause a lot of distress for all of these people because they've been doing a lot behind the scenes to interfere with someone's energy, interfere with your protection. And this person, whoever uh, was hired to take you out, there's something about them moving on. I don't know if like they ended up in an accident, something happened to them, or they were asking for more money. There's no more money to give because there's a feminine energy out here making false promises that, hey, if you take them out, I'm going to give you this much. Making false promises to people, but someone is having to move on, and them having to move on is leading to you being able to seal on to calmer waters because this is how the universe has always had it orchestrated. Someone from the court system will be communicating with you that it has been a whole lot going on that you don't know about and this person i'm telling you someone from the court system will be communicating with you and this person coming towards you is uh, um causing a lot of anxiety and all kinds of stuff behind the scenes now i don't know if they know who this uh, uh, court official is, whether this is a PI, uh, 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 FBI, CIA, whatever A is coming towards you, um, but he's going to come. They've been trying to either stop someone from communicating with you. I don't know if it's like a physical attempt to stop them, but it may be more so like they're monitoring your emails, your text messages, phone calls. And if he tries to call you or communicate with you, they're causing blockages. There's, a, there's something about a feminine energy that's monitoring somebody's finances. I don't know if she's looking into your money. Like someone has been granted access to your bank accounts and things like that by a corrupt person 
official in the court system. So she's looking at your finances and things like that. Even what you are supposed to be receiving, she's been looking at that and she only has access to it because of her inside connection into the court system that she's using illegally. Okay. She's using illegally. These people are fighting behind the scenes because you know what a queen of wands has been doing. And that is what to block two people from coming together. But I'm telling you, they know that you two are still coming together. She wants this man. I'm telling you to see her as an empress energy and give her this new beginning. It's a no from the universe because what there's something this woman has been doing behind the scenes that has been exposed. So it's, it's a, mm, uh -uh, uh -uh, I'm not sure about you right now. Um, and so because this man is deciding to move forward, he like, oh Lord, because he has decided to move forward, she and the rest of them are trying to call some type of stalemate. Like they want him waiting and say, is he going, go call him, tell him this, tell him something is going on so he can change his mind. Are you, are you monitoring his email? Call him, text him. They, like they want to keep him busy. Okay. Whatever is going on between these people, whether this is a court case that has to do with divorce, child protective st uh, custody services, whatever this is, there's something that's going to lead to a feminine energy going to jail, going to prison for a long time. I'm telling you, this is the guy's honest truth. Someone is going to be going to prison for a long time. There's something about fraud, signature forgery. Something is going on where it's like all of these people, they knew what was going on and they went along with it because a feminine got out here and made false promises to them that they were going to get some type of money and uh, 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 live their la vita loca, live, live their best lives out here. Whoever this masculine is, this king of pentacles behind the scenes is going through a lot of turmoils behind the scenes, crying a lot because he's realizing he betrays someone very genuine. He may want to come towards you with a friendship and hoping that it, it leads to some type of new beginning with the two of you. And he may want to apologize to you and things like that. When the right times comes, he will come towards you to apologize. I think right now it may not be the right time. I don't know for a lot of you, but whenever the right time is, he'll come in to talk to you. Um, so because the truth is out or they're trying to block the truth from coming out, they're not able to really block it anymore. Like this man knows the truth. Like he don't found you. If, if it's something where it's like they were trying to block him from finding you on social media, he don't already found you. I'm telling you, like the person has already found you. So it's like, I don't know if they know that he knows where you are. I don't know if they know that he is aware that you have a platform or he knows where you work, where you live and things like that. And they've been trying to hide the truth. They said, no, 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 don't tell him this. Don't let him find it. He knows, like he knows, he knows. And when the time comes, he will be coming in to balance things out. And I don't know if this really has to do with finances. This may just be the two of you meeting so that he can tell you really what happened because maybe there's something you don't know that happens. But if you're a high priestess, I doubt it. But I will still sit and listen to him and kind of get his side of the story because maybe there's something that you don't understand or don't know. Okay. But what, what it is these people are trying to do is to block your finances, block your resources, hold you back. You're a queen of pentacles, queen of, uh, queen of, Pen you're like all the queens in the deck, but you could be in your queen of swords, queen of pentacles at the moment. You will have wish fulfillment. This is what's coming in. They may have told this man that you were marrying everything, but it's coming out that you are single. And I think there's a reason why this is coming out that you are single is because they told him that you were married. It turns out you're not. You're just content in life, focusing on your business, your finances and things like that, keeping to yourself. What they've been trying to do is block your finances and block you from being fulfilled in life, block you from receiving a uh, wish fulfillment or being content and fulfilled in life, but it's not happening. Like source is protecting what it is that's yours. Okay. Source is protecting whatever it is that's yours. Okay. Like you're coming out of the cold and stepping into abundance so they can keep trying to block this. 
It's not going to do anything. You are still coming out of the cold and stepping right into abundance and taking a new direction in life because this is how it was always meant to be. So they're out here trying to block it. It's a pentacles offer. And here you go, stepping right into a 10 of pentacles offer, a 10 of pentacles lifestyle. Okay. So whatever is meant for you is being secure and protected by the universe. So you don't have a lot to worry about. Okay. This friend group, family, whatever this is, they're going to have to take a new path in life. They're going to have to self-actualize. I know a lot of them, that's not something they want to do. A lot of people that are karmic, they don't like to self-actualize, but this family, if they want to save the rest of what it is, they got their last day in the light or whatever, they may want to self-actualize, go in, do some introspection and move on with their lives. Someone may need like a counselor. Someone may need a lawyer because you're going to need it. Someone is going to jail. I'm not, I'm not saying maybe they are, you are going to the penitentiary. Okay. You got out here stealing from someone that was looking out for you. You got out here trying to steal from someone that didn't do nothing to you, trying to keep them stuck in some type of uh, chaotic situation, karmic cycle, trying to deplete someone's money that didn't even know who you were. That's the sad part. This woman don't know any of these people. Don't know none of these people. That's the sad part. Don't know them. Not, excuse me. Don't know them from Adam's. But they're out here trying to have someone living in the cold, in the cold. And they, they're out here misusing their connection in the police to invade someone's privacy. There's a whole like police officer out here, FBI, whatever. someone's brother could be a police officer, someone's cousin, whatever. They are misusing their connections within the police department to invade someone's privacy. Lord, like, oh, we've been, we've been trying to get a hold of her address for a long time. I just need it. We, we can't find her. She's missing, blah, 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 blah. They, this may have been like a tactic that they tried before. It didn't work. So she went and chose her lover in the police department to invade someone's privacy. So when the time comes for you to receive communication, you best believe everybody know where it is that you are. The court system the right side of the court system, the negative side of the court system, everybody know where you are. The gentleman is going through this, the betrayal and things like that, all the karmics, everybody know where you are. They've been sending people to your homes, probably getting into your homes and taking things out of there, taking documents, forging signatures. This is how they were able to forge your signatures and things like that. If you work at a company, as at an institution, you ever sign any type of paperwork, they extracted your signature off of those paperwork to use to cause some type of, uh, to do some type of fraud behind the scenes. Okay. Um, but just, you know, you're being protected and so, listen, I don't even know how to verbalize this message because this is like too much, too much. You are being protected by your ancestors. You are being protected by your angels. There is something where you should not be here because these people orchestrated your ending. Like they orchestrated your death, basically. They're like, you know what? We need you to go in and take care of this person because we've been doing a lot of voodoo, a lot of witchcraft behind the scenes, sending them a lot of death spells, but they keep waking up. Obviously, these spell works don't work on this energy. They're immune to this stuff. So they got desperate and went in and... and hire a hitman this hitman could be someone that's older more than likely in his 50s 56 57 something like that he was going to come in and take you out it could be someone that's younger okay but I, I picked up on an older man that's in his 50s in his 60s someone does not care about love does not care about being in the upright when it comes to ethics and things like that he does not give two f's about it someone mental and their heart is gone someone is void all they care about is money okay so he may have wanted more money to do what it is he was hired to do maybe there's no more money because this man is not giving to this woman anymore so he's not able to come in and take you out or he's not willing to come in and take you out and again there's some type of interference with him being able to have access to you it's like your ancestors are handling it and you don't even know it. It's like, oh, where do you think you're going? To her? I don't think so. Car accident. Where do you think you're going? To her? I don't think so. Fall sick. Where do you think you're going? To her? I don't think so. Mom passed away. Sister passed away. Grandchild passed away. They ain't playing with anybody in here. These people are going through chaos behind the scenes. Okay? And this is why now they are starting to think, uh, maybe we shouldn't have gone this route. Oh, no, you're BSing. Okay? 
They are thinking now, oh, we took the wrong path. We should have never gotten involved in this. It's too late. They've been out here causing a lot of illusions and things like that just so that they could receive some type of, not receive, maintain some type of lifestyle because they've been benefiting off of this man's money for a long time. And this is coming to an end. You have a king of cups that's headed right into poverty. He's stepping right in. When I mean like, like someone stepping right into poverty. You know how you be going up and down the stairs. You take one step and you get on another step. That next step right there is poverty. Like someone don't step right. They didn't even tumble or fumble. Like they stepped right into poverty voluntarily. Someone's about to be out here in the cold. This will already be going on, by the way. Someone is about to be out here in the cold, living homeless, having to find a place to go, moving from place to place. And this is karma for him that's all I can say about that. It's karma. This could be someone you're familiar with. This could be a family member, a brother. This could be a cousin. This could be an ex-lover. There is something where a man is about to step right into poverty. And this is going to humble him when he comes out of it. And everything this person participated in as far as blocking your love life, blocking your finances, blocking your connections, blocking your comfort, not wanting you to be comfortable in life. He's about to be going through all of that. No love, no nothing. Someone may even be trapped in some type of karmic relationship with a woman he thought would be better than you. And it has backfired horribly. And he don't know how to come out of that. Maybe wanting to reach out to you to give you a piece of his mind as far as apologizing things. And you don't get two Fs. Don't got two Fs to give. So I don't know what to tell him. It's your final destination. We don't know. We don't really care. But you, as the queen of pentacles in the up right here, Honey, no matter how they do the equation, north, south, east, west, you are going to be content in life. You are going to be fulfilled in life. That is your purpose in life, okay? So they can try all they want on how they're going to block and control your finances, block you from receiving your payout. It ain't going their way. Sources already decided that this decision was final before these people started doing all of this nonsense. It was already decided that you are someone that's going to be abundant in life. There's nothing they can do about it. All these people did was get a court case, like get a lawsuit on their heads. Like this is going to be a ridiculous lawsuit. Some of these people may even end up on the news. This is how big something is because they don't went and got people in the court system involved, paying lawyers judges police officers officers to hush their mouth or to get something to go in their favor there's something about a divorce case that's going on where it's like the wife is paying someone behind the scenes to make sure things go in her favor it ain't going in your favor it's not it's not it is not you're not getting all of this man, that man's wealth you're not you're not about to have him out here looking broke busted and disgusted he may have some type of mental stuff going on but he i think he's going to get help for that but you ain't getting out of that man's money now girl you, you gotta be dumb out of and you gotta be out of your rabbit ass as mine the thing you're about to go in court and take someone's money when you've been out here being reckless and things like listen you see this right here honey you're headed right for poverty right for poverty you may want to go talk to your family so they can take a new direction too he said let's think about this i don't think this is going to go in our favor it's not it's not Someone's, there's a woman out here trying to take a man for everything he's got. She's content in life, but it's not enough because what? He's not going to be stuck with her anymore. She wants him to be stuck in an unhappy marriage with her. That's what she wants. She said, he's, he's either going to stay with me or I'm going to take everything. Like they're, they're plotting someone's ending. This woman don't betray someone behind the scenes. Is that if he's not going to stay with me, we're going to take him out. No, you're not. You're about to end up in jail if, you don't, if you're not careful. You and the rest of the rock rats that have been working with you. They've been plotting someone's ending, but you're going to have to move on, dear. Going to have to move on because whoever you're trying to pay to take someone out, they're refusing your offer. They don't want to be part of that nonsense. You got to grow up. You got to grow up. You have got to grow up. They're out here fighting this man because he wants to have a new beginning. Who the heck are you people to tell people what it is they can have in life? What's best for them? What's not best for them? Out here telling lies and filing false police reports and things like that. For what? For what? 
for what? I can do it. I cannot do it. This is too much. This is like their low vibrational activities. Thumb, but charge, go in and take her out. He said, I don't have a key to their house. I don't have a key to their apartment. Break the door down. Uh, yeah, that's going to lead to more problems. Oh, yeah, honey. They don't want to hire a whole assassin to take somebody out, a feminine energy out. He said, we're going to take her out. So then, he, you know what? If she's not here anymore, she, he, he'll decide to stay with me. He won't divorce me or he won't leave me. He said, nah, ba nah, nah baby. If he wants to leave you, he's going to leave you. He's not leaving you to go be with someone else. He's leaving you to be happy in life. He's leaving you to be happy in life. So you can go and pay the lawyer that you want, the judge that you want to make sure things go in your favor. It ain't going in your favor. Collective, you are highly favored by the spirit realm. Someone is out here about to go pay a whole lawyer, a whole judge to make something go in their favor. It ain't going in your favor. You are defeated. Sir, if you're going through a divorce, if you're watching this video, they are paying people behind the scenes to make sure things go in their favor. They've been paying people behind the scenes to hinder someone's life. They've been paying by people behind the scenes to do a whole lot. Okay? A whole lot. You thought someone was your enemy, but the whole time you've been sleeping with the enemy. And the woman that you either got married to, been married to, has a mental illness that she needs to go and get checked out. Checked out. Someone is a sociopath, psychopath, a narcissist, and hopeless out here. You can't save this woman. You cannot save her. What you need to do if you have a kid by this woman is take that kid and run. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Make sure the kid is yours though. Okay? Make sure. Because you don't want to take someone else's kid away or something like that. Whatever their situation is. But just know... You all, you're not defeating anyone. Okay, you're not stopping in nothing. You may want to go ahead and just call this one, cut, cut your losses and move on. Because I don't know what, what this is that you're so invested in. Because the things that you are even paying people to do are so stupid. I don't know what other words to use. Is that so ridiculous? I, I can't even fathom someone paying people money to do this kind of stuff. Like, let, let's use social media for a second, right? Someone has, like, an insider in these social media platforms that they're paying, right? Or let's say they have, like, a tech person they're paying to mess with numbers. They said, no, take 100 views away. Take 1,000 views away. Take $2 off of that money. It's that things that are so stupid, it don't even make any sense. Like, you do know that these social media platforms have been here long enough, what, that they've dealt with these kind of things, so at the end, they're still going to balance something out, and you do know that they have the finances and resources to find out who's breaking into these systems, right, to alter numbers, right? You do know that. Like, you all do know that, right? Let's take YouTube for a second. YouTube has been in the game for i don't know how long since 2010 2011 whatever this is obviously they've dealt with hacking before and if you're trying to break into the actual youtube system baby you know they got resources right to find out who you are and to file charges against you and you know they're gonna have one of the best or the best team of lawyers to hand that ASS whooping to you. You do know that, right? Like, you didn't think about that? Sometimes these platforms, they'll sit back and watch people do things because they want to make sure that when they strike you, they, they get a hold of you, they have all of their ducks lined up. There could be like a like an investigation going on. They don't contact the FBI and everything to look into who it is that's doing all this tampering with people's platforms. Because I've noticed a lot of like terror readers, something is going on with their platforms. One day they're, they're getting views, one day they're getting numbers, their like subscribers, and then it'll, it'll go for like a week or two, nothing. That don't make no sense. That's not how the system is set up. 
That means that there's someone doing something on the inside to tamper with people's platforms. That ain't accidental. That ain't natural. And you just think you're just going to get away with it. Somebody that works for YouTube or a few people that work for YouTube is about to get fired. Like fired. So if you're working a good job at YouTube where you work from home or you can go in whenever you want to and you still get paid and things like that for your 40 hours, you may want to reconsider the things that you're getting involved in because you're about to lose your job. And I don't know if this is like on a grand scale of YouTube where it's like they know what is going on, but you know a company is not about to come out here and say we knew we were a part of it. No, they're going to throw you under the bus and let you go. Look at P. Diddy, allegedly, right? You really think that Revolt didn't know what the heck was going on with him for those years, but what did they do when he got busted and get, got outed? They said, we do not stand, we, we we have never been a company that tolerates uh, it, it, it abuse or what, whatever they wanted to call it, right? Well, for the past, what, 25, 30 years, they knew what he was doing. They didn't care because what? He was bringing money into the company and he had a whole, a large share in the company. They didn't care. They didn't care. But now that it's all out there, they want to distance themselves from Diddy. That's what that's what's about to happen to a few YouTube YouTube uh employees. They're gonna be the uh we at YouTube we do not stand for this type of behavior, blah 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 blah. Baby, you can't blame them. Cause something has been going on for a while. I'm not saying that everybody in these platforms are horrible or bad or out here to take people out, block people from receiving their payouts and things like that. But honey, they know, they know, they know, they know, they know, they know, okay? So you can keep paying people to interfere with people's numbers, block their resources, block their incomes and things like that. It's all going to backfire on you all. You're going to prison, darling. You're going to prison. It ain't no way around it. You don't help a whole lot of people accumulate nothing but bad endings for themselves, karma for themselves, tragedies for themselves. Someone passed away. Someone else is about to pass away too. Someone else is about to pass away too. You, I, you may want to be careful. There may be someone maybe getting picked up from the morgue or something like that, but someone is about to pass away and they're going to keep passing away until you all start fixing what it is you've been destroying. You, you're going to learn not everybody out here is meant to be fooled with. When people are minding their business, not tempering with you, and you have your mental illness you don't want to go and address and have taken care of, that don't mean you can come after them. So you're going to learn to stop messing with some people, but someone else is about to pass away. And the people you're coming after, they don't feel no ways about it. They don't care if you're, if it's your grandmother. They don't care if it's your daddy. They don't care if it's your sister, mother, child. Who, they don't care. Because these are the types of energies you're putting out for people. Tell them about you'll go to sleep and not wake up tomorrow. Hello, we're still here. What the heck is wrong with you? Talking about you're going to wake up tomorrow and you won't be able to see. Hello, still seeing clearly. What the heck is wrong with you? Come on, make it make sense, Linda. Make it make sense, Karen. You don't got the authority to manifest nothing in people's lives. I don't care how much voodoo you do behind the scenes. Voodoo, he do, she do, quote, do. We don't do in the light working community. We don't do voodoo as light workers. We don't even got to do extra stuff. I've never had to do any type of extra activities to manifest nothing in life. I simply use my mind and my words. That's it. And I put in the effort. So, hey, I want to, I remember I, there was a job I went in, I wanted some years ago. And I was working a job I wasn't happy about. And I told my ancestors, listen, I, I want I want to do this job right <laughs> Baby, when I said <laughs> <what the, laughs> three days, I was working that job. And I worked it for a long time. I enjoyed it. And then they said it's time to go, so I was up out of there. 
you, you listen as a light worker we don't never got to manipulate we don't never got to do any type of abracadabra and you know chant around the tree get in a group around the full moon cycle new moon cycle we don't got to do none of that i can't even tell you the moon cycle for this month i don't keep up with it cuz i don't got to participate in none of the, none of that I've been here too many times. <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> if I was still asleep, then yeah, I would probably need to know the moon cycle, all of that. Which which uh, house of zodiac is it in today? Is it sat the house of Sagittarius? Is it the house of Leo? Honey, I don't I, I don't pay attention to none of that zodiac horoscope. That's nice to know. I simply need to use my mind and my words. But you all, you get out here. You don't know what you're getting into. You don't realize you're setting limitations on yourself. When you get into these groups to do witchcraft, going to practitioners to do things for you, you're setting limitations for yourself in life. Because every time you need to manifest, now you got to be in a group. You got to chant around a tree. You got to go do this ritual out in the woods. You got to go to this practitioner to help them, to have them help you manifest this. That that's not how it's supposed to be. You see this picture here of this person manifesting. How many people do you see on their one? That's all you need themselves, yourself. So I, you don't need anyone to manifest nothing for you. It's all mental. <laughs> but it also de uh, depends what you are trying to manifest. You can't be out here trying to manifest endings for people. The universe is gonna bombast this. Ah, uh, you say I think not. Yeah, that person, they didn't, they didn't ask for all of that. You need to focus on you. Okay? Every time you try to manifest something else in someone else's life that they have not authorized, the universe is bombastic, side eyeing you, criminal, offensive, side eyeing you. They say, who the heck does she, does she think she is? That, that ain't part of the contract. We didn't tell you you were going to manifest nothing in this person's life. And then you got the ancestors of that person watching you too. So, uh, yeah, you got us after in one or two ways. <laughs> one in too many ways. We don't have to put you like that. <laughs> you got us fucked up. <laughs> there go my goofiness coming out. Let me put it on hold. Anyways, Abundance Collective, you're about to be Abundance. We got the horn out here. Okay? You got some Abundance coming your way. This is what these people are trying to block, but they can't. They're trying to hold on to it. What's really happening is the universe is securing your abundance. They're protecting your abundance for you. So maybe this is not the time for you to receive it. But at the right time, not a minute early, not a second early, not a minute late, not a minute, not a second late, you're going to receive it right on time. You needed to go through some type of growth, some type of healing, some type of preparation. I'm telling you to master yourself. To master yourself. So that you could receive that abundance. But you will be abundant in your life. And it is up to you what kind of life you live. It ain't up to nobody else. I don't care how long someone has been doing voodoo. How long they've been into spirituality. Whether it's been for 10 years and you just started yesterday. That don't mean nothing. You are the one that decides what it is you want in your life. What path you want to be on. You can change your mind at any time. You want to be a teacher today. You want to be a, a preacher tomorrow. Want to be a mu musician tomorrow, the next day, excuse me, that's your business. You can change your path whenever you want. You are in charge of your destiny. Nobody else. Nobody else is. And that's the illusion. These type of people, they live under, you know, they don't want to heal their mental illnesses and things like that. They don't want to heal their childhood wounds. They don't want to address their traumas and things like that. So they develop some type of illusion to think that they can manifest in misery in other people's lives, not realizing they're just manifesting misery in their own lives. Someone came out here trying to manifest endings and things like that in your life and here they are they've helped you sail into the sunset with what belongs to you the universe is there oh that's cute we're just securing this until it's time for her or for him to receive what belongs to them but that's real cute that's cute anyways folks thank you for watching stay blessed i'll see you in my next read goodbye for now